If you need a driver's logbook for your EV for business, you need to know where did you go and how far, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in the browser you can see all of this data. You can also manage a whole fleet of EVs and see where they charge at home or for business. Check them out in the link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is the Audi A6 e-tron performance with the big battery, 95 kilowatt hours can be used and I'm gonna do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour now. We're gonna charge to 80% and then we go. This car has the digital mirrors, so no real mirrors, a little uh, displays in the car, so it's good for consumption, but 20 inch sport tires are on there and it's around 18 degrees, so we should get an amazing consumption. I just did a range test at 130 and the car is awesome. It also charge is amazing at what are we 45 percent i get 230 kilowatt 710 volt 800 volt system it's just amazing but let's charge up to 80 and then we go the car is rear wheel drive with 280 kilowatt peak power so not uh, all wheel drive version which is again great for consumption I'm on my way again now with 113, which is 110 kilometers an hour GPS speed. I started with 80%, I'm in efficient mode, so the car is lower and it doesn't consume that much. My climate is an eco, I have the AC on on 21 degrees and the other side too, because I felt it came warm from this side. It, I want it a bit colder, it's 18 degrees out, but the sun is blazing. So the air is cold, but the sun and everything is so warm. First 10 kilometers are uphill, that's why the consumption is high, but it's gonna get way lower. I used 10% of the battery and drove 63 kilometers, so possible full range, 630 kilometers. And uh, remember, the first 10 or 9 kilometers were uphill, so it can go further. Amazing! Average consumption 163, and this just went up because uh, I went up a hill for the last few kilometers, but now it's going downhill, and then consumption will go down again. But awesome! So how is it to drive the Audi A6 e-tron performance uh, at 110 and of course it's as comfortable as before but now it's a bit quieter. You always notice the, the step from 130 to 110 and it's here the same. Uh, the cruise control works a bit better now, I'm happy at 130, I don't know it was the sun or something but a lot of times it was searching around and that's over, that's nice. Uh, sound system is good, listening to it uh, stuff right now, that's awesome, it's really great. I would like seat ventilation, this car doesn't have it, so this 
version of the car. You can have seat ventilation, but this car doesn't have it. I would love to have it. I need the AC at 21 and a half degrees on middle in eco uh, because it's 20 and a half degrees out there and sunny. Yeah, the digital mirrors, I'm, I'm not used to it yet. So it happened a lot of times that there's a car beside me, but I didn't know, so I have to look myself. Um, yes, there's blind spot warning and everything, but it's just the screen, how big it is and the angle and everything. For me, it's hard to see, is there a car coming? Here, I can see it in the middle right away, but in the mirror, I, I, I find it very hard to see. So I would prefer the real mirror. I used 25% of the battery and drove 157 kilometers, so a full range of 628 kilometers. Consumption is amazing with 157. Wow! This car is amazing when it comes to range and amazing when it comes to charging. Wow! I'm really impressed. This is awesome. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna drive the whole 600 kilometers. I'm gonna drive another two hours or so, so that at the end we have around uh, 350 kilometers, I think, uh, something like this, and that's it. So we, we will only use a bit above 50%. It's too much today, already did another range test, and then this, and we already seen in the other range test that the full range, uh, at the end uh, is just going down a tiny bit so the state of charge is not perfectly linear but it's not horrible i have to do the range test today sunday less trucks uh, less dangerous and next sunday uh, we're gonna do the long distance trip with this car driving against the volkswagen id7 pro s um, and when i look at the data uh, I think that the ID7 will get smoked <laughs> because this car has really low consumption and charges way better. So, will be a smoke show! <laughs> I turned around and navigated back to the Georgia. It's 104 kilometers to go. I have 233 kilometers of range. I'm at 44%. Car thinks I arrive with 24%. When I look at the time though, I think the car, the navigation thinks I drive faster because with 110 driving 103 kilometers is 57 minutes it thinks I do it in 48 so it doesn't know that I drive 110 which is sad so I guess the state of charge will also be higher when we arrive and not 24 percent that's how it is uh, drive is amazing still 158 watt hours per kilometer average consumption I arrived with 26%, drove 325.9 kilometers. Google Maps says it's 328 kilometers. Consumption, 158, that's awesome. So I calculate the range and I get to 607 kilometers. But you have to think I only used 54% if I drive from 100% down to 10. Um, it would be more accurate. I would expect this a tiny bit less because it was 630 in the beginning, then it was 620 something and now 607. So I really think it's, it's a bit less than a 607. But it was a great drive and the car is amazingly efficient. Awesome. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.